Next pro tip is one of my favorites, replicating formats with the Format Painter. Now this is a one star tip, very basic, very simple, but also very powerful once you know that it exists. So essentially the Format Painter, all it does is it copies all of the formatting related settings from a cell or selected range of cells. That includes the fill color, the font, the number format, the borders, the styles, the alignment. All of that information gets copied and then applied from one selected range to another. So for instance, we're going to be looking at a demo where we have a number of columns, each with zero to five uh, rating scores. And in this case, we've applied a simple color scale to column E, and we want to apply that same color scale, that same conditional formatting logic to columns F, G, and H. So to get started, all we need to do is select the cells that contain the formatting we want, which is the values in column E, and go into our Home tab and click that Format Painter button that looks kind of like a paintbrush. Now, one thing to note is that if you click that button once, it's going to grab and copy those formatting settings one time. So the next place that you click is where those formats will be applied, and then the tool will be deactivated. If you have cases like this where you want to take that formatting and apply it multiple times, like to columns F, G, and H, you can double click that Format Painter button to kind of lock it in place, which allows you to continuously apply that format over and over and over until you click the button again to deactivate it. So really helpful tool. That's going to allow us to do something like this and apply that color scale from column E to F, G, and H by simply clicking three times. Now common use cases, again quickly applying formats across multiple columns without having to manually go in and adjust any of those formatting settings yourself. And two, ensuring that cell formats are exactly the same, including all of those different criteria or uh, settings like borders, fills, number formats, and so on and so forth. So let's jump to our pro tip workbook and give this a shot. All right, so once you've opened up your pro tip workbook, um, head to your table of contents first tab, and you should see a format painter demo right here in the formatting tip section. Go ahead and press link. It's gonna take you to the format painter tab. And what we're looking at here are burrito ratings from individual reviewers. And these reviewers who must be uh, burrito fanatics, um, they're out in San Diego. They've reviewed all of these different types of burritos, you know, on given dates that are coming from different locations or restaurants. And the key here, the columns that we really care about in this case, um, are the ratings themselves, which live in columns E through L. And basically what each reviewer has done is scored each burrito on a zero to five scale in terms of a number of different criteria. So tortilla, the burrito temperature, fillings, the meat volume, uniformity, salsa, synergy, which not sure what that means, and the wrap quality. So we've got, uh, it looks like about eight different uh, scoring criteria. And this is a great opportunity to use something like conditional formatting uh, to really visualize some of the patterns and trends that might exist here, you know, that are tough to see when we're just looking at uh, the raw data itself. Um, so what we're going to do here is actually just select all of our tortilla data. I'm going to click the first row and then use the control shift arrow down shortcut. That's going to select the entire column there and scroll back up. And now instead of just using a basic color scale, uh, I want to actually use some of the highlight cell rules and I'm going to use the between rule. So the first rule that we're going to set is we want to format cells that are between a score of zero and two with a red fill with dark red text. Actually, let's change that to a 2.5. Um, so that's pretty bad. Those are burritos that got very, very low scores um, for this particular criteria, the tortilla. Um, press OK. Go back into our conditional formatting menu. We're going to simply add another between rule. This won't overwrite the existing one. This will add a second one. And now we want to format scores between 2.5 and 3.5 as kind of average, they're like in the middle. So let's do a yellow fill with dark yellow text. Press OK. And then same process, let's add one more conditional formatting rule for between 3.5 and 5, which are very high scores. We call those green fill with dark green text and press OK. So here we go. We can see that it's 
populating as we'd expect. Got a good range of high, medium, and low scores here for the tortilla criteria. And now we want to apply that same logic, that same conditional format to the temp fillings, meat volume, and so on and for so forth, all the way out to column L. Now, there are a couple of ways we could do that. We could select the values in column F and work through that same exact process we just did, which is obviously a little bit inefficient. We could go to our conditional formatting rules. We could manage these rules and change the references themselves, which is also a little bit messy. The easiest way to do it is going to be to grab that whole column E, go into Home Menu, Format Painter, and watch this. If I click it once and then select column F, it's going to apply that format, but now my format painter is deactivated, see? But because I want to apply it to six more columns now, a better approach is to double-click that format painter. Click G, click H, click I, click J, K, and L. And there you go. Note how it also changed the column width because technically that's part of the formatting uh, that I've copied here from column F. So now to deactivate, all I do is click that Format Painter button again, and there you have it. I've taken my custom conditional formatting rules from column E, and I've applied it to seven additional columns in a matter of seconds. So a really great use case for how to use that Format Painter and the double-click tool to very quickly apply formatting from one range of cells to another.